Idea Paint's pull system turns any wall into a magnetic, dry erasable idea platform. But before you can get your big ideas up on the wall, you'll need to install your pull wall. That's where we come in. This video guide will walk you through a successful installation of pull, Idea Paint's premium magnetic system. From primer to wall covering to dry erase paint, today we will cover everything you need to ensure your magnetic erasable wall lives a long, high performing and happy life. In addition to this video, please review the detailed instructions in the installation and spec section of our website. They're also included in the box. First, you'll need to prime and prep your wall of choice. Start by covering the floor with a drop cloth. To ensure a smooth finish, the base surface must also be smooth and free of debris. Remove old wall coverings and coatings that already exist. Smooth out rough, uneven surfaces, fill cracks or holes. Sand the wall with 120 grit sandpaper and remove all debris from previous paint installations. Thoroughly wipe down the wall with a clean, dry rag to remove all dust. Now the fun part. Tape off all the wall's edges, then apply a single coat of one of our preferred primers. Be sure you immediately remove your tape and let the primer dry for 24 hours. Second, it's time to measure, cut, and adhere the wall covering. Lightly sand the wall to remove any fibers or debris from the primer install. When done sanding, wipe the wall with a dry rag. To cut the wall covering, measure the height of your wall. Then, roll out the wall covering on your cutting surface. Using a straight edge and a breakaway razor, cut the wall covering to the correct height. To apply the adhesive, with a paint roller, apply a sufficient amount of adhesive evenly on the wall. Do this for the width of two sheets of the wall covering. Use one of our recommended adhesives. Next, it's time to hang the wall covering. On the dark gray side of your wall covering, there is a yellow stripe. For every section of wall covering hung, this yellow stripe needs to remain always on the left or always on the right. This ensures the wall covering's edges fit together correctly. Finally, it's time to hang your first section of a wall covering. Place the dark gray side of the wall covering, this is the back, against the wall and uncurl the entire strip. Make sure the yellow stripe is on your chosen side. The white of the wall covering, this is the front, should be facing out. Firmly press the wall covering against the wall, making sure it's securely adhered. Push out any air bubbles. Now it's time to hang the next panel of wall covering. Make sure the yellow stripe of your second panel runs along the same side as the yellow stripe on your first. Hang your next panel adjacent to the first, leaving a tiny two to three millimeter gap. Then gently press the beveled edges together so the joint seals tightly. Firmly smooth down the second length of wall covering, pushing out any air bubbles. Repeat this process of rolling on adhesive and hanging the wall covering until the entire wall is covered. A quick tip, common obstacles such as light switches can be cut out of the wall covering after it is hung. To allow the adhesive to dry completely, let the wall sit overnight for 12 to 24 hours. Next, it's time to prime the wall covering. After the wall covering has dried, you can begin the dry erase paint installation process by priming the wall. Using one of our approved primers, apply your first coat. Be aware, recommended primers vary depending on whether you are installing Idea Paint Pro, Create White, or Create Clear. Be sure to check your dry erase paint instructions to pick an appropriate primer. Once the first coat has dried, the next step is to fill the wall covering seams with a quick setting patching compound. Joint compound should definitely be avoided. We don't want your wall covering to peel off after you've hung it up so nicely. When the patching compound has dried completely, lightly sand the seams to a smooth finish. If you are installing Idea Paint Pro or Create White, apply two additional coats of primer. If you are installing Create Clear, apply one additional coat of primer and two coats of semi-gloss latex paint in your chosen color. Refer to your installation instructions for a list of preferred base coat paints. Allow the proper drying time between applications, ideally 12 to 24 hours. And now, it's time to apply your Idea Paint dry erase paint. Take a look at the box. 
Did you buy Pro, Create White, or Create Clear? Head on over to our website to find installation instructions for your chosen dry erase paint. They're on our installation inspects page. Have questions? Shoot us an email or give us a call. We've got a great team standing by to help you out. For more information on Idea Paint, including inspiring uses, collaboration tips, and technical documents, visit us at ideapaint.com.